And thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Girl. Today is Motivational Monday, and if you happen to miss the service on Sunday at Shrewsbury Assembly, we we finished the series on the 12, talking about the 12 apostles. It was our summer series, and we finished the series off with the commissioning of Jesus sending them off. And right before Jesus ascended into heaven, after he resurrected, he said to go now and to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Now, regardless of your personality and your gifting, God has called every single one of us to further his kingdom. If you are part of his family, if you accepted him as your personal savior, it's our job now. He has entrusted us, his creation, to further the gospel. And let's face it, you just look around, you turn on the TV, you open up a, a news app on your phone, and you can't help but just see the lost and brokenness of this world. And one thing that we have to do first is to pray. I mean, if you think about Afghanistan, if you think about everything that's going on there, if you think about just even what's happening across your street, you know, there are people in our lives that are broken, that are hurting, and it's up to us. We have to do our part. And so, so many times we, we can blame and we can point the finger and say, well, they should do this. And it's like, we should, we should actually look in the mirror and say, well, what, what part should I play? And so one thing that I want to encourage you with is to not downplay your gifting, your personality. Listen to what Paul has to encourage Timothy. The son in the faith is, is what Paul refers to Timothy. And in 1 Timothy chapter 4, starting in verse 12, it says, Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. And you can think of this as an age, or you can think of this as maybe your experience and something that, hey, I've, I haven't you know, stepped out in my faith. I haven't, I haven't shared my faith before. I don't even know where to begin. And he says, Hey, don't think of any, don't let, don't let, don't allow other people to think less of you because of your inexperience or maybe if, even at your age, but be an example to all believers in what you say and in the way you live in your love, your faith, and your purity. Until I get there, focus on reading scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them. And that's why we encourage you, the daily doses, to get into his word daily. That's where we get the provision. That's where we get our strength. That's where we get the power. The source of power is in the scriptures. I want to encourage you to continue to do that. He says this in verse 14. Do not neglect the spiritual gift you received, the prophecy spoken over you when the elders of the church laid their hands on you. Give your complete attention to these matters. Throw yourself into the tasks so that everyone will see your progress. Keep a close watch on how you live and on your teaching. Stay true to what is right for the sake of your own salvation and for the salvation of those around you. And here's the thing I want to encourage everybody, including myself, is to focus on what matters and the gifting that God has given given us. And so let's focus on that and not focus on the things that don't actually matter. What, what role do you play in furthering the gospel? What role do you play in communicating the, the truth, the power, the restoration power of Jesus Christ? I want to encourage you to seek God today and look to him and say, you know what? Hey, I don't want to neglect the gift that you have given me. So show me today how I can use my gift to represent you today. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.